it. With the Cambridge Police Department squarely behind him. Based on what I've, I've seen from the other officers, and heard from the other officers, he maintained a, a professional de decorum during the course of the entire situation uh, and conducted himself in a professional manner. Today, Sergeant James Crowley pushed back against both the president's comments. I, I support the president of the United States 110 percent. I, I think he's way off base, wading into a local issue without knowing all the facts, as he himself stated before he made that comment. So. And the idea that he should apologize to Henry Louis Gates. The apology won't come from me. I've done nothing wrong. It's now been a week since Gates, a professor at Harvard and a leading thinker about African-American culture, was trying to push open his jammed front door when a woman passing by called the police, thinking Gates was breaking in. Crowley responded, finding Gates inside his house. Crowley asked Gates for his ID and to step outside. Gates provided the ID but refused to leave his house, asking Crowley for his name and badge number. Gates says Crowley ignored him, walking out of the house. When Gates followed him, he says, to demand that information, he was arrested for disorderly conduct. An 11-year veteran of the force, Crowley is an expert on racial profiling, teaching a police academy course on how to avoid it for five years. He says he asked Gates to step outside for his own safety, standard practice, since Crowley didn't know if there was a suspect inside. In his police report, he said Gates replied, yeah, I'll speak with your mama outside. There was a, a lot of yelling. There was references to my mother, um, something you wouldn't expect from anybody that would be, should be grateful that you're there investigating a report of a crime in progress, let alone a Harvard University professor. As for the president, his press secretary is now trying to walk back Mr. Obama's remarks, saying the president was not calling the sergeant stupid, just remarking that cooler heads should have prevailed. Katie? Jim Axelrod, Jim, thank you.